Hello everyone, I'm back with one more Effect House tutorial and in this one I'm gonna show you how you can create one animation using a sequence of textures in this case I have this sequence here of images okay, that's gonna work as an instruction this sequence of images came by default here with Effect House, one of their templates and I'm gonna show you how you can import those images to create this animation so, my name is DJ, I always forget to mention that and before I start don't forget to give a like, subscribe to the channel, and comment in the video, okay? And now, we can start. So guys, I want to add that animation to work as an instruction to the user, okay? Because our effect only works when we show our full body. For example, if I change here the camera for the face only, our filter won't work, you know? It's gonna stay still like this, so I'm gonna hide our body avatar drive for a while and I'm gonna show how we can add that animation you're gonna see it's very simple you just have to come here and add assets and import and here you're gonna select texture sequence and then you're gonna navigate to the folder where you have your images you're gonna select all images if you don't know how to select just press ctrl a and then you select everything at once okay and click open and it will automatically add this texture sequence here, okay, where it shows how our animation works. And it's gonna also add this animated textures folder and this texture sequence here. And it's here that we have the properties where we can control how our animation is gonna work. Here we have the loop count. When it has a minus one here, it means it's gonna loop forever, okay, it's gonna be infinite. So if you want it to loop only one one time, you can press, you can choose one here. Or if you want it to run twice, you press two. Okay. In this case, you want it to keep running. Okay, forever. And here you can choose the order. If you want like going uh, back and forth, ping pong here. And there is random shuffle. This random and shuffle is good when you are making like those kind of games where the user randomly pick one option but in our case you're gonna use the forward because we need the image to follow the same sequence all the time you can check the reverse option if you want it to run backwards okay and here you can change the frame per second in this case you're gonna change the speed same thing here with the duration it's two different ways to control the speed of our animation and now you need to show our animation in the screen and to do this let's add one screen image let's go here to 2d option screen image i'm gonna name it animation and here in the texture option we're gonna change the default texture and replace it for this texture sequence okay this one here we just add and now it's working now we have our animation here it's gonna work as an instruction this example and now I need to control when I want this image to show here because I don't want it to show when we have our full body in the screen right so to control its visibility let's select here the animation okay and come to this little dot here and select get animation now we have access to the animation and we're going to connect this node here with another node called set visibility this one here and we're going to need two set visibility okay because one is going to turn off the image and the other one is going to turn on so i'm going to press here ctrl c ctrl v to copy the set visibility node i'm going to connect the animation here to the target in both okay and the first one we're going to check this option, visibility on. So when this first node is activated, our image is going to show. And the opposite is going to happen with the second one. When it receives one signal here, it's going to turn turn it off. And the node that's going to send the signal to our set visibility node is going to be the following node here. Okay. To add a node, just right click okay, here in the screen and choose add node. And let's search for body detection. So when our body is detected, it's gonna send a signal here. Okay, in the begin option. 
So we're going to connect the begin option to the second set of visibility because we want to turn it off when our body is detected. And we're going to connect the end option and the none as well to the first set of visibility. And as you can see now, the image texture is not here in the screen anymore. Okay. And if you change the camera to, to the face only, you can see that our texture sequence is back. And now just to complete our effect, I'm going to do the same with our body avatar. Okay. I want it to appear only when we have our entire body in the screen. So I'm going to import our body avatar. And I'm going to connect to a set of visibility. Okay. We do the same, exactly the same steps. We need two set of visibilities. One's going to turn, turn it on. The one's going to turn off. And to send the signal here, we can add another body detection node, or we can just connect the signal received in this first set of visibility nodes. But in this case, the logic is different, right? When we don't have our body in the screen, we want to turn off our body avatar. So we're going to connect it here. And when our body is detected, we're going to receive the signal from the begin here. That's going to pass to the set of visibility and it's going to pass to the set of visibility that's going to turn on our body avatar. Okay. That's why this visibility on is selected here. And now let's test if our filter is working. So I'm going to bring now one full body camera. And it's perfect. It's working now. When we have our full body, we don't have the animation. And when we don't have our full body, we have our animation and we don't have the body avatar. Okay. And if you want to learn how we create a body avatar dry filter like this, there's a video in this effect house playlist where I show you how we can create one body avatar. Okay. How we can add the bonus in Blender and also how we can add bones using Mixamo. And I also created one tutorial showing how to add a background image here in the effect. So, okay, guys, that's it for today. I hope you have enjoyed it. And don't forget to like the video, comment, and subscribe to the channel, okay? Bye.